Welcome to the Take Charge of Change podcast. In this podcast, we'll help you to lead a more resilient professional and personal life by sharing great content to make you smarter, more energetic, emotionally healthy, financially confident, so you accomplish your professional and personal goals in spite of the challenges that are sure to come your way. Sean Humphreys here. Welcome to this edition of the Take Charge of Change video podcast. Well, in this short podcast, we're going to talk about two really important concepts or ideas. One is on the idea of focus and intentionality, and the other idea is around goals and goal achievement. I'm not telling you anything new when we cover these areas, but they're absolutely critical to the accomplishment of our goals and objectives, plain and simple. What we focus on will unlock pretty much any door that we want to go through. And being present and giving your undivided attention to a task and its goal at hand. That's the biggest differentiator between those who achieve success and those who experience mediocrity in every area of life, whether it's professionally, personally, in relationships or hobbies, uh, sports interests. Our choices and our decisions, they determine not only what we accomplish, but who we become. So do you want to be a mentor to your staff? Do you want to provide great leadership to your clients? Right? Do they trust you to help them achieve their goals? To do a good job in that area, you have to be present and completely focused on them during the sessions and the time that you spend with them. Do you want to be the best parent you can be? Then put away the cell phone and give your children the undivided attention that they deserve when you're together. Technology has been um, a boon to many of us. It has led to some efficiencies for sure. but there's a dark side to technology and that's this uh, tendency for people to focus on their phones and their technology and not on the relationships that are around them. So do an assessment in your own life when you look at your relationships um, are you engaging those relationships in conversation? One study came out recently that talked about the fact that not just for adolescents and teenagers but for adults as well the art of engaging conversation you know, interaction that is meaningful is quickly becoming eroded in our culture. And one of the reasons for that is we we confuse connectivity or connections with conversation and relationship. So take a look at that area in your own life. Um, if you need to put away the technology and focus on your family, your kids, important staff, start making that a focus because your ability to be engaging in those relationships in a very intentional way will have a profound impact on your own personal and your professional success and your resiliency. Do you want to build an ideal business right, or a career? Then you need to set aside specific time uh, in your week to make sure that you're making progress in moving those big rocks, those key aspects of your business plan forward. It's so easy to get caught up in the tyranny of the urgent and find that we've been busy all day, but at the end of the day, we, we really haven't accomplished really anything of worthwhile um, as it relates to our business plans. When you set aside time, you want to make sure you focus on what you're doing right now. If you do that consistently and block out the distractions, then you will have a winning day. If you have enough winning days, you will definitely reach your goals. So set the right goals and you'll have the business success and the personal success that you want to achieve. But it all starts with the importance of focus. So now let's take a look at the uh, the importance of our habits. Uh, We can call them habits or rituals, um, but there's no doubt that those things that we habitually do, those rituals that we integrate into our lives, uh, will profoundly impact our ability to achieve our goals or make progress in life. If you're a manager or work with a team, you can readily see that. When you observe your staff working, you can see that their daily uh, decisions or weekly decisions will profoundly impact how much they're gonna be able to get done. So what are those productive habits that they're consistently integrating into their, into their days? Uh, it really is our ability to form those productive habits that will have a profound impact on our ability to make progress both personally and, and professionally, obviously. So. What about yourself? You can see that with the teams you lead or the staff you're involved in, but sometimes we rationalize away issues in our own life. And it's really a good idea that from time to time you do a category, or um, categorize your various habits or rituals in your life. And really be brutally honest. You know, it could be things like spending too much time uh, on social media and wasting time in that area. It could be 
um, spending too much time in front of the TV, um, mindless activities that are gobbling up time. Um, you want to be looking at your overall day and week and to see whether you're being effective in terms of building in rituals. Um, so what are the specific rituals or habits that you need to build into your day? The little things every single day that will help you to achieve your goals. It's those habits that will lead to goal achievement. So if you want more clients as a business owner, what do you need to be doing from a marketing habit standpoint? If you want better client loyalty, um, how can you make certain habits um, become integrated into your business plans? You're connecting with clients on a more regular basis and building up that trust account. Do you want to be a better writer or a communicator? Okay, so what habits are you integrating into your life every week or every day to become better as a, as a writer and a communicator? What about health? Yes, it's nice to think about wanting to be healthier, but what you have to do is intentionally begin building in habits uh, into your life so you achieve those goals. What are you doing every day to further that desire to be healthier and have more energy? So these daily habits, these daily rituals are absolutely critical. I'm not telling you anything new. Um, but the most important thing is we need to tie those goals to some very important purposes or missions or visions for the future in, in our lives. First step is setting vision and purpose. The next step is identifying those habits that need to be in your life to achieve those purposes or visions. And the next thing is, is laser-like focus every day to begin inculcating those habits into our lives. That three-step process is critical. Well, I hope you enjoyed this edition of the Take Charge with Change video podcast. Uh, be sure to visit our website and download our free ebook, The Resilient Professional, 15 chapters of great content that will actually walk you through exercises that will help you to cultivate purpose, to have laser-like focus, and to be well on your way in terms of goal achievement in both your personal and professional life ultimately leading to enhanced resiliency. You take care.